Hello gents, hope you're all well. Uh, just a bit of an update from me as to uh, what I've been getting up to over the last uh, week since I put up the last video. Um, got a game this weekend of the uh, 28 mil AWI. Um, so I need a few reinforcements, uh, some guns and uh, some more commanders as well. Um, so these are what I've painted up. A few of these were in the last the Army Showcase video. I don't know what's saying with that. Oh, that's why. Um, so again, what we've got here, we've got a mounted commander. This is from the AWI Perry French command set. Very nice figure, um, all the same. One piece casting. I'm getting used to painting those now. I haven't, haven't painted that many of those. Normally what I do um, is I normally drill a hole in the in the bottom of the figure and paint these, the horse and rider individually. So yeah, quite pleased with that. That's that. Uh, this has become a personal favourite. The shaky cow. Uh, picked this up at, at Selwick a couple of years ago. Um, and this is a Hinchcliffe figure. Quite crude, um, but it's become kind of a bit of a linchpin in my force. I always kind of like to use it. Um, I paid one pound twenty-five for this figure. Um, I'm going to hazard a guess, seventies, eighties, maybe. Um, but really pleased to have it in the collection. And then here we are. This is uh, going to be one of the two divisional commands that I've done. Again, this is a mix of the uh, the Hessian command set, which is the one on your right hand side here, and this is um, again another single piece French commander. Really nice figures. I really like how they've come up. I must admit, the kind of satin varnish, kind of shiny look, is actually starting to grow on me a bit. Um, reminds me of proper toy soldiers. So again, very pleased um, with how they've come out. Must paint around the room of those bases, get them blacked in. And then just a few bits that I've done today. One. Two. And three guns. Uh, so these two in the centre and the left hand side are th the three pounder set I picked up last year um, at Warfare in November. Uh, they're by Eagle Figures and then this is just an additional four pounder Swedish gun by Perry. The basing's still a bit wet so I've got to be a bit delicate and um, gentle. These figures are slightly more squat but they're very nice to paint up. Um, I'm going to have to go, I would like to get some more uh, maybe one more of their three pounder set um, when I go to salute this year if they're there I, I haven't checked um, so very nice very nice figures indeed um, they're exactly they're a carbon copy um, I didn't quite like the cannonball figure. It comes with the cannonball figure. Um, so I haven't put that on. I think I'm going to use that on a command stand. Um, so I've got two of those. Uh, just a bit easier to delineate between the, uh, the, um, the three and the four pounders there. And again here, this spacing is very wet. This is a Swedish four pounder by Perry. Um, the reason this got three, uh, no genius, I'm afraid. I can't find the fourth figure. <laughs> I want to take the cannonball. Um, I'm sure he's somewhere. Um, again, I picked these up at Warfare. I've got a second one of these to paint as well. Um, so in total, that will give me six guns. Ooh, sorry about that. In total, that will give me 
six guns. We've got four four pounders and the two three pounders. Um, so what's next? Let's get these out of the way. Um, right at the tail end of the project now, I can actually see the end of it. Um, I must admit, January painting-wise has been one of the most productive painting months I think I've ever had. Um, I've got 12 grenadier to paint here. Made a start on these. Uh, these are going to be a combined grenadier. Um, I've painted up the Niephausen and the Life Regiment. Um, and then we are going to have, off the top of my head, the Von Brunel and the Karl Prince Musketeers are going to be the remainder of this 12 here. another gun um, just need to get that done as soon as possible uh, so I can have have the project out of the way and uh, that's another Perry uh, Perry gun and um, in here is just another couple of commanders these are two from the uh, Hessian set got spare horse uh, for some reason hoping I can find that commander somewhere else that's those and then it's the really the absolute last part of the, uh, the project in here i've got a another company hessian jaeger these have been primed for, uh, for quite some time um eight in there and here now these are fusilier these are going to be the uh, the von losberg regiment just in march pose again peri metals Again, um, this will be another combined grenadier, um, not a specific battalion, just for the regiments that I own currently. And then a, uh, a Perry line regiment in charge pose. And um, these um, will be very, very nice to paint indeed. Looking forward to painting those. And then that's the um, that's the project done. I mean, it's been with me such a long time now. Um, it's quite strange to see the end of it. I didn't at some points. I didn't really think I was going to get there. Um, so yeah, very pleased indeed. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.